Well, it's a huge challenge. Um, anytime you get an opportunity to come into uh, into an environment like like they have here at NC State and, and play against a team who's been nationally ranked in the top ten for the better part of the year, a team who quite arguably, arguably could have been a national seed. Um, you know, we have our work cut out for us. But you know, in the game of baseball, if you if you play good, um, if you if you pitch it and field it, and get some timely hitting. Anything can happen, and, and we hope to come out tomorrow and compete, and you know, give them, a, give them, a, you know, a game, and, and try to represent ourselves in the university the right way. And how exciting is this for you and your team to be back in the NCAA tournament? Well, it means a lot to our program and to the university and to the community in Binghamton itself. So um, the kids are excited. You know, the last time we were in the NCAA tournament was 2009. So this is a whole new group. These kids have not experienced this before, and it's something they've set out to to uh, accomplish and they work towards since we started in September. So it's a big thrill for us, and it's a great environment. And we're happy to be here. And Stony Brook beat the Oz last year. Any extra pressure on you guys to continue that tradition for the American East Conference? Yeah, I don't think so. I think every year is different, and, and you know our ball club's different than they were last year. And you know the roads to Omaha might be differently paved as well. So you know we're trying to duplicate anything that Stony Brook did last year. All I think it did was it showed America that you know they can play good baseball in the Northeast, and particularly in the American East Conference. Um, Stony Brook and Kent State get into the uh, get into the World Series last year. I think speaks to a little bit of a parity that's in college baseball right now, and I think it's a good thing for the sport.